Hey everyone. This video is going to show you the exciting news that Record to Slides Chrome extension has an update. I absolutely love Record to Slides. And if you're not familiar with Record to Slides, I have another video on how to use the basic version. You could go to the Chrome Web Store and go grab you the Record to Slides Chrome extension. I already have mine installed. But coming back to my slides then, you see a little icon here that gives you the Record to Slides. And so what it does is it gives me the option to just start recording and I can give directions or whatever I want to my students. This is great for when subs are there so that I'm still personally giving directions to my students or if they're doing some kind of independent track learning. When I'm done, I hit stop. It gives me a little preview here. I can play it back to see if I like it. If I don't, I just re-record. And then it also gives me share settings just like any other Google product. And I come down when I'm ready to insert and I say, okay. It then automatically populates to the slide that I am on. And if I'm ready to watch it back, I just click play. Start recording. And and I can give, I can resize it if I want to, move it wherever I want. I can put it out here if I want to for direction so that my students have the area to work in. If your students have the ability to install extensions themselves, I like it because they can then record instead of typing their definitions, just gives them a little extra option here if using something like the Frere model that I have here. The exciting news is there's an update. If I come back to the icon, instead of just hitting record for my video, I now have a share my screen option. So I no longer have to use Screencastify or Loom. I can go ahead and just click the share option and it asks me what do I wanna share just like any other tool. I'm just gonna say my entire screen for right now. And I'm not really playing video back, so I don't really need to share my audio. So I'm gonna just select share and you can see my mouse is moving but before I'm actually recording I have to still hit the record button so as soon as I hit the record button it's already starting so I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna click off of here and you see that box goes away and so now I can record and I can go to all my tabs just to show you what that looks like and then when I'm done recording my screen I come right back to the icon click on it and hit stop so again it gives me a preview so it's just like a screen recording anywhere else I have my share settings here if I'm satisfied with it I just say okay and same thing, it populates directly right into my slides. And again, I can resize if I want to. I can move it around and place it in the slides presentation where I want it to. I can also show playback, for example. This is a great feature when I'm in my Google Slides already. I don't have to go out and find and save and download. This is so wonderful. Thank you, Record the Slides, for this wonderful update.